Even here, in rural Bulgaria, it seems Brexit is impossible to escape. The village of Brashton is eagerly watching how the UK's negotiations to leave the EU unfold, because each year more than a third of its 960 residents travel to Britain to work on a fruit farm in Kent. They pick cherries, strawberries and blueberries and bring back much needed funds. Necessity pushes us to go over there. You can see how difficult it is to earn a living here. We don't know how things will work out. For now, we're just watching the news. They're saying things will change. The Bulgarian workers come here to Oakdean Farm, which relies on 1,400 foreign seasonal workers in all. This could be a problem post-Brexit, since freedom of movement between the EU and the UK is set to end, while a no-deal Brexit could cause many more problems for a business which relies on smooth supply chains. Although he voted for Brexit himself, farm owner Tim Chambers hopes the UK government will still allow in migrant workers from outside the UK. I believe at the moment they're sticking their head in the sand. There's a, there's a, a perception um, in the Home Office that if you mention the word immigration or migration, they're dirty words. They're not dirty words. We need migrant workers. This is Rosbury's here. Salih arrived from Brashton as a seasonal worker nearly 20 years ago. He never went back and is now the farm's production director. He worries Brexit could break the link with his village and feels the efforts of migrant workers aren't fully appreciated in the UK. We're not going to hide it. Of course we're worried because this business is almost built by people which are coming from Bulgaria and Romania and they've worked here for six, seven, ten years and and I think they're good workers, so it's going to be sad if we're going to lose them. But nothing we can do, exactly, we're powerless. As the picking season approaches its height, the UK has asked to extend Brexit negotiations, potentially missing another deadline. The outcome of talks with the EU will be closely watched, both in Brashton and Oakdean.